You know what an atom looks like, right? So it, let me clarify. You know what they tell you an atom looks like. Right? So it's like the solar system. So there's a nucleus in the middle like the sun, and then we have electrons circling the sun, the nucleus. Like planets circling the sun, same thing, except bigger. Now, we're shooting energy, x-rays, we're shooting energy into the material, and it's kicking one of those inner orbit or inner shell electrons out of orbit. Like knocking mercury out of orbit. Nature says, no, no, there's supposed to be something there, so it takes an electron from a higher orbit and makes it drop down into the lower orbit. It's, and everybody sort of moves forward in line. It's like, ca uh, they call it cascading electrons, right? In order for an electron to change orbit, like for a spaceship to change orbit or a moon or something to change orbit, it has to f give off some energy because it's th at the wrong energy state. So it fires like a retro rocket, and then it changes orbit. When it fires that retro rocket, fires a retro rocket, that f energy that it gives off is called two things. A fluoresced x-ray, hence x-ray fluorescence, but more important, it's called a characteristic x-ray. And what that means is that that particular electron, one up, let's say, on a lead atom, gives off a certain energy frequency, and nothing else gives off that same frequency. So if I have a detector that can detect that frequency, it can say, oh, that's an L-shell lead atom, or whatever, or it's from chrome, or it's from whatever it happens to be. That's what it's doing, is it's, that's the magic. It's taking the energy given off by electrons when they change orbit, measuring that, doing the counts and doing some fancy math, and coming up with answers that say, it's 10% this and 5% that, or whatever, okay? Okay, so we're talking about the periodic table. So if you look at this chart, look at up near the top, the big square where it says AG. And you look at the four corners and it says, well, it's hard to see, but it's K alpha, K beta, top right, top left, L alpha and L beta. Those are four different electron orbits. And so now if you look at any one of those squares, you'll see some numbers next to each of those four corners. That's telling you the frequency or the energy state that each one of those atoms, electrons, has, right? So if you look um, down here at the bottom of the green in the middle there, PB, lead, 10.55 in the bottom left corner, 12.61, that's the, that's the energy we're looking for when we measure this. All right, so now here's, what, here's the magic of what's going on. That's the, what's happening. Now, and so when you think about what we're shooting, I don't care whether it's uh, big part, small part, metal, plastic, whatever, that's what's going on. It's, we're shooting energy in, we're getting energy back out. That energy hits our detector, which is inside the snoot of the analyzer. And then all the math happens and the magic. Okay, let's go there. All right, so this is the ROHS rules. And so if you know the rules at all, then you know that, for example, ROHS says uh, lead has a limit of 1,000 parts per million. If you're using XRF technology, it uses a 30% factor. Um, so it says um, pass and fail, so it's 1,000 parts per million, but 1,300 and 700 are 30% either way. Basically, that's a, if, if your number falls between those two, it gives you an inconclusive answer. If it's above 1,300, it's a definite fail. If it's below 700, it's a definite pass. If it's between the two, it's a, it's, it says it's inconclusive, right? Once I've put in some information in here, I can just start to shoot. So, All right, so we've gone past the minimum time. And, but by the way, if you notice that it failed right away, one of the interesting things about this is if it fails, it can fail in two seconds. But if it's going to pass, it has to have at least gone the 30 seconds, right? So if we look here, the, the standard that comes with this says lead is 155 parts per million, plus or minus 12. We measured 154. That's pretty good, right? Cadmium, we're a little off on. 
um, chrome 103 versus 143 plus or minus 63 mercury 106 plus or minus 10 so we're right in the we're right in there so what this is saying is that basically we're in our machine is operating within in compliance